Well, Nigel, when you think of overdoses, Dr. Mason Jackson said it might conjure up certain images, but not this. Though this looks like a candy and it is mango flavored, doctors are saying it's sending Greenville kids to the emergency room at least on a weekly basis. Delta 8 and 9 is derived from hemp and contains THC. Adults mostly use it for sleep or relaxation purposes. A sense of euphoria and kind of relaxed feeling, um, but then that also can progress into, unfortunately, psychologic side effects that can resemble psychosis or things like schizophrenia as well. Greenville Prisma Health's Dr. Mason Jackson is skeptical of the drug, especially after seeing an increase in kids admitted to the ER overdosing from Delta 8. Things like respiratory depression or difficulty breathing, uh, seizures, low blood pressure, a lot of these times requiring ICU level care. Jackson says these patients range from teens to even infants, with smaller children seeing the most serious side effects. Though you have to be 21 years or older in the state of South Carolina to buy Delta 8, Jackson explains high schoolers and middle schoolers often access the drug through older friends and coworkers, while young children and babies will put most anything into their mouth if it's left out. Because the drug isn't regulated by the FDA, Jackson says it's incredibly easy to overdose on it. It may say to only eat a quarter of a cookie to receive the desired effect, but kids aren't going to stop at a quarter of a cookie. They're going to eat the whole package if it's in front of them. And so it's very easy for a young child who doesn't know any better to ingest an extremely large amount of this drug. The drug can come in several different forms, from vapes to liquid form to gummies, candies, and sweets. Jackson asks parents and family members to be mindful, especially around minors. If you do choose to partake of it, we ask that you use the same kind of care that you do with any other chemical in your house. Keep it away from your children. Don't let them know that it is there. Jackson says if mental illness does run in the family, ingesting something like this on a regular basis or other THC products could trigger something like schizophrenia a lot earlier than you'd normally see it. Live in Greenville, I'm Peyton Furtano for WYFF News 4.